that's what I want to do. I'm adding some salt to Okay. Okay. And so this is you're going to champion the great growing cause of British wine. I'll try my best. Okay. I'll do my best. I think with your food. And sugar. Yeah. Just a pinch of sugar in there. I've and this again is already. a soup base, isn't it? It is. It is. A bit of pepper. Before I add cream, I do want to add a little bit of coriander powder and a pinch of garam masala because. I'll lose that opportunity Now with the fish, later. do you want me to do anything now? It's now that's sort of it's browned on one side, does it want to go Yeah, anywhere? if it can go in the oven, Tom. And how long is it going for? Two, three minutes. Okay, because and then one, six, again. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's going in there very much. Add the stock. I've used chicken stock in this, but you could use fish stock or normal vegetable stock in this. And I'll leave this cooking till pumpkin becomes really, really soft. Wow. So that goes there. And is that normal cream? You it's, put in there with yeah, cream? I've used single cream in there. Okay, so that is that. Now, how long has that been? This this it, it this takes about a uh, good good half an hour. Okay. Okay, we we have this one ready. I'll just blitz it. I'll give this to you, Tom, because okay. I'll need your services on this one. That's good. I love these machines. <laughs> I mean, the way you do that, you do make it look very easy. Pinch of this, a throw of that. I mean, it, it does take a few years of experience. If I came and sat up and thought that right, I'm going to do the same, chuck it in willy nilly. It's not quite going to work the same, is it? It is easy, Tom. Oh. Don't make it difficult. <laughs> Don't make it difficult. You're too modest. <laughs> what was that last bit of herb? I've added got? cinnamon in there. Oh, you just got cinnamon goes so well with butternut squash. Can you chop some coriander for me, Tom? I certainly can. Yeah. There, how rough do you want it? Just uh... as fine as you can get. Mm. Not quite fine. Is that good? This is beautiful. Oh, that's fine, Tom. Thank you. Can you look at that, Rafi. <laughs> uh, well done. Uh, no, sorry. What do you I'm want so sorry. I no, needed some it. spinach in the center. Okay, so spinach, what's the spinach been cooked with? Spinach has been cooked only with garlic and some red chili. So this is sitting at the bottom? Just sitting on the bottom to bring the fish up. Shall I get the fish out while you're doing Yes, that? please, if you can. So the fish oh. has been in for like three minutes, basically. Oh, that out of way. One of the nice. joys of butternut squash is it has that beautiful yellow colour. So it's a real autumnal, deep yellow. And I that's true, it so that's true. Beautiful. It's so nice that you really need to do very little to this. Mm. Now, what are these red things? I mean, are they some Sorry, these are red peppercorn. And red peppercorn is, is, is one form of unripe black pepper, is it? No, not really. It's, it's a different kind of berry altogether. It's, oh. really speaking, not even a pepper. What's, what's the name of this dish? The name of this dish. The name of this dish is Pansia John Dory with butternut squash soup. There's a really beautiful meatiness of the fish. Quite, quite sharply spiced. Mm. And the sort of creamy, deep creamy nuttiness of the squash. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. To make Atoll's pan-roasted John Dory dish, buy some fresh John Dory from your fishmonger and go to the grocers for coriander, chickpea flour, ginger garlic paste, ajwain seeds, turmeric powder, garam masala and lemon. For the butternut squash soup, you'll need to buy butternut squash, onion, ginger, green chilli, dry white wine, chicken stock, double cream, cinnamon powder and red peppercorns. For the greens, you'll need to buy baby spinach, garlic, red chilli flakes and coriander powder.